Hey, so I want to make a pretty short guide on how to do 8 mod map farming. Well, I farmed about 17 apothecaries last league, so I have pretty good experience doing this. So first thing we'll talk about is the atlas itself. So show this. So yeah, this is one of the two atlases you can run. You can do this strategy on Crimson or Cemetery. I personally do it on Crimson. Crimson is better right now because Apothecary is worth so much. So yeah, if you are wondering Crimson vs. Cemetery, yeah, do Crimson. There's two strategies here. There's one where you're farming the eight mods themselves with the compass. And there's another one where you're not farming the eight mods, but you're still buying them and you're running a uh, Legion and Full Beyond instead. As for which strategy you run, um, if you're running no magic find, which strategy is completely viable with no magic find, then do the eight mod one. If you are running magic find, you can run either or, both are good. I can't really say which is better. So yeah, either way, you want to run a Gilded Div, Gilded Ambush, Gilded Relic Hurry, and Gilded Cardo. Running the Legion version, you run a Legion Scarab over the Cardo, and this can be polished or gilded. Doesn't really matter all that much. So yeah, obviously always favorite all the cemetery or crimson of whatever you're doing. Which again, choice. And a useful tool here to buy your uh sextants, which you want beyond uh corrupted strongbox and rage strongbox, and then legion or a mods, right? If you're an A mod one. Yeah. Now to buy compasses. You want to do this thing called PoeStack.com. This makes buying compasses so easy. You will have to link your account and it's part of TFT. I know not everyone likes using TFT, but this really makes buying compasses so easy. If you don't want to use TFT, um, your next best is just using trade site, but it's kind of a hassle to buy from there. So anyway, what this website is, once you connect your account, you can really buy whatever compass you want in bulk. So if you want to rage, you know, strong box and rage, say I want like, you know, 10 and then, you know, I can just whisper any of these people, buy 10 original boxes. You know, that's how, what you want to do for all your compasses. For your scarabs, you can just buy it on a trade website. Um, there's no reason to use uh, TO2 or anything for your scarabs when you can just buy it on a trade website. Personally, I prefer using the vines, but if you're just starting out, you can use chaos or if so like, want to buy a div, you know, whatever, you can just buy your website. So yeah, PoE stack, very, very useful, highly recommend. If you're going to do eight mods, and if you are going to farm the eight mods, as in you're using this Atlas tree, which I'll have both trees linked down below, of course, then you're, you're going to need to sell it. And if you want to sell it, yeah, you have to sell in TFT too. So you come to TFT, you come to Ancestor, Softcore, Bulk, Want to Sell, and then go to Bulk, Eight Mod Maps, Want to Sell. And here you just list your maps. Um, you know, usually it's like random 12C, Rejects 15, or Rejects 16. Um, if you don't know what Reject is, no, it's this right here. This is also very important. So this essentially, uh, what rejects is, you type this in and an example here, and then every map here shows what's in your rejects. Uh, so what does that mean? So for my rejects, I have, you know, cannot regen, max res, uh, reduce effect on course hours, you know, et cetera, like that. So whenever I type this in to my POE, um, every single map here does not have those mods I don't want. So yeah, this is very important when you're doing eight mods because obviously there's a lot of mods that might break your build. And yeah, when people buy from you, they'll give you the rejects code, you put it in, and then you give them the maps they want. So yeah, it's very easy to sell your eight mods. That's what you do. I sell eight mods all the time. It's not a hassle. So yep. Yeah, had to sell on TFT though. All right. So yeah. Um, I guess the last thing would be running the eight mods themselves. So yeah, to run the eight mods, personally, I open all the chests on the way. Um, I won't do a showcase here because it's like a little bit of time. You know, you can check my last video. I have a full eight mod showcase. But yeah, you open up, you rush to the boss and open all the chests on your way to the boss. Then you focus the map like regular. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, about it. If you have any questions about eight mods, you know how to start up. Just feel free to leave a comment. I'll also be live streaming this on Twitch. Uh, I, I do eight mods all the time. So yeah, if you have any questions, just head it over. And yeah, that's it.